There lies a sixth dimension. A dimension beyond sight, sound, reality, and intelligence. A dimension of do nothingism and stagnation. The next stop, tea bag. Tea bag zone. He was, when he was campaigning, he was telling people that he could do certain things like bringing guys home, bring the military home, and he could close Guantanamo Bay. The man had no idea of what was going on. He was a senator. He was not privy to certain information. He wasn't even privy to half the information that the military did. And all of us who heard him, we knew that this was a bold place lie, but people went for it, and I think they both voted for color more than the man himself for what he could do. And I think that is an absolute travesty. And from, as far as I'm concerned, right now he's done nothing but bring in a lot of socialistic ideas, and if he wants to be in a socialist country, he should get the hell out of mind. I'll tell you, that's a, that's a strong opinion. I just, I just got one, just one question to the rebuttal on that. What do you consider socialism? Uh, it's just below dictatorship. And when you break the law, and our own governor did it, breaking the law by forcing people to buy something that is government funded, no. You cannot force people to buy a product from the government. They are not to be in business. It's supposed to be our... Um, our helpers are supposed to be looking out for their constituents and the only thing they're interested in is lining their own pockets, doing what they think is best and which for them, not for anybody else. And as far as the health care program goes, all of the people who voted for it will never have to use it and they should have no right or no say. I hear what you're saying, Stephanie. I just got, I just got one more question because you, you, so you got so much insight. Um, <laughs> Do you consider Medicaid a form of socialism? No. No, and I never did. It's, is, go it's government sponsored health care. That's government sponsored health care, but if the taxpayers are paying for it, they're willing to pay for people who cannot be on their own. It's kind of like the same health care bill, no? No, it's not. The health care bill, they're telling you you have to buy insurance. I mean, not from the government, though. Yes. It's a I mean, if, 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 if you got government from a, a, a personal provider or private provider, do you think you'd fall into any kind of um, disciplinary problems? Oh, they still want you to do it. They still want to force people to buy their insurance. And why do you think they want to do that? Because it lines their pocket. They can do anything they want. What they're doing is they're getting extra money from the taxpayers to do whatever they want to do. They're not doing anything to help their constituents. And that goes from the president on down to the lowest man in the Senate. Well, Stephanie, I thank you for your... Steve